It's Ryan Borgward. A man who faked his own death on Green Lake is alive and overseas. The sheriff announcing today deputies have had nearly daily contact with him. Investigators say they contacted a woman who spoke Russian on November 11th and through her got in touch with Borgwart. Authorities say he told them he overturned his kayak, tossed his phone and paddled back to shore on an inflatable raft. He then hopped on an e-bike and rode to Madison. From there, he took a bus to Detroit, crossed the Canadian border, and took a flight overseas. Now, the search for Borgwart lasted 54 days and involved divers, sonar, drones, and a lot of manpower. The Green Lake County Sheriff says it cost upwards of 40 grand. Fox 6's Ashley Sears is here. She spoke with a man who was part of that search. Yes, Sam, Charlie DeGroote says he spent nearly 24 hours total searching Green Lake. The Beaver Dam man combed the water, diving more than 100 feet, finding nothing. Charlie DeGroot is used to difficult dives. We do a lot of technical dives, um, getting into really deep water. But this one might have been the toughest, not just because of what he was looking for. Kind of disappointing to have all these areas of interest and then coming up, you know, holding your hands up in the air. There's nothing there. DeGroote and a fellow diver volunteered in August to help the Green Lake County Sheriff's Office search for Ryan Borgwart. Authorities thought the 45-year-old's kayak overturned and that he drowned. A team searched the water for nearly two months. Found like a hat, a couple other things like that, but not related to Ryan, of course. Investigators later learned why, saying the husband and father of three faked his own death and left the country. I'm in my apartment. I am safe, secure, no problem. At a news conference Thursday, the sheriff's office shared a video of Borgward, saying investigators have been in daily contact with the man, who admitted to staging his own drowning, crossing over to Canada, and catching a flight overseas. Authorities say he's in Europe, but don't know exactly where. DeGroote says this outcome is the deep dive he never expected. I don't regret at all the time that we put in. That's that's what I would do anyway. Um, it's just unfortunate that it was a complete waste. DeGroote says his part of the search cost a few thousand dollars. The Green Lake County Sheriff says there are no warrants out for Borgwart yet. They're asking him to come home to his family. Kim, amazing. They're talking to him every day. All right, thank you.